Morning, Auto 2. We're going to be doing today what I call a cooling system um, thermostat opening confirmation, cooling fan confirmation, temp gauge correlation. So we want to show you how to make sure and to know that the thermostat's open. Number two, we want you to, um, to know for sure that the um, fans are on. Three, we also want you to be able to see the relationship between the temperature on the engine with an infrared gun, the temperature that the scan tool sees, and the temp that's on the, the dash. So I want to show you first on this 2003 Toyota Highlander how we're going to confirm that the thermostat's open. Let's just say we don't know which where the thermostat is. You've got two radiator hoses. Here's an upper hose, and you've got a lower hose right here. Okay. Every car has got an upper lower radio hose, a lower radio hose, or, or two radiator hose. This is a downflow radiator. You can tell that because the tubes are running down. So we would call this upper radiator hose. That's lower radiator hose. Here's how it goes. If I grab this hose, it's stone cold. This one's stone cold. That means stone cold means it's been sitting overnight. Okay. When we start the car, one of these hoses is going to warm up first. That's the one that has an, that is open between the engine and the radiator. So as the engine heats up, cooling in the hose starts to heat up, and this will feel warm. The other one's going to feel cold because where it attaches to the engine, it's got a thermostat. If that thermostat's closed like it's supposed to be, I'm going to get a flashlight so you can kind of see down in there. If that thermostat's closed like it's supposed to be, when I get in there with a little bit of light, um, then, and, uh, then you know that the hose that gets warm first does not have the thermostat at the end of it, but the hose that gets warm second does have the th um, thermostat at the end of it. Now, I'm assuming that that's this one down here, and we're going to find out when we run it. We're also going to look at the time. So right now on the screen there, it's 1228 right there. And so we're going to go ahead and start the car. And when we start the car, we're going to start monitoring it um, from a variety of levels. So let me go ahead and set the camera down, and then we'll start the car. So I have just started the car. And it's been running for not more than a minute. This hose is still cold. This hose still cold. And the fans are not running. It's important that you don't turn the AC on because the fans will automatically come on when the AC is on. So if we look at the dash for a moment, you can see that the temp gauge is down where it's very, very cold. Okay. And you can see that we're at about 1200 RPM. I'm going to go ahead and get the, what we call the brake pedal, throttle pedal depressor right here. And to speed up this whole operation, I'm going to go ahead and attach this to take it up to about 2,000 RPM so the car wants to warm up quicker. So the way we do this, set the camera down here. The way we do this is to put this on the gas pedal here and against the, so you can see we're down there, we're on the gas pedal and we're against the steering wheel and as I Go ahead and squeeze this. You can hear my RPM going up. I'm at about 2,000 now. And I'll go up to about 2,500 RPM right there. So still see the temp gauge is really cold. I'm going to come out here. And I'm going to go ahead and feel this hose. Slightly warm. This one's very cold. So this hose is warm now here, and this one's completely cold. So let me back away so you can hear me. So that upper radiator hose over there was star already starting to get warm. The one down below is cold. So that means the one down below leads to the thermostat. When the one that's cold gets hot, the instant it gets hot, and it'll go from lukewarm to hot, almost instantly that's when the thermostat opens 
in the meantime, let's grab the this um, infrared gun and we'll go ahead and point the infrared gun down here. And you can see the temperature. And then look over here. About 130 there. Cold here. Water here. O2 sensors heating up. And we're right now at 32. So we're only four minutes running. And once again, this hose is hot now, definitely hot. This hose is still cold down here. So that hose leads to the thermostat. Okay, so check it with the infrared gun down here. And it's definitely heating up. It's about 160, 155. Thermostat should open. Thermostat should open at about 190 or 195. The hose down here is still cold. So while it's warming up, we'll go ahead and plug the scan tool in so you guys can see what the snap-on motor says. So I'll turn it on by pushing the power button. And it's going to say, okay, so we're going to go ahead and plug this scan tool in underneath here. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Then we'll push over here. We'll push scanner. And we'll push Toyota. And we're going to ask it to automatically ID the vehicle. So automatic ID. While that's doing that, we'll go check the temperature. See, the gauge is showing it pretty well warmed up. And we're at about seven minutes in. This hose, this hose is um, it's starting to get warm. Oh, it feels like the thermostat may have just opened. That hose is hot. This hose is hot. So it looks like the thermostat just opened. Yep, 190. So you can see it's about 210, 205. So that thermostat's open. It heated up really fast. So we're going to see at what temperature the fans come on. So the fans are still off. The infrared gun says I'm at about 210. The gauge says I'm right near the middle. Okay, so I've got a manly, this one doesn't support automatic ID. So it took about seven minutes for the thermostat to open. We have not heard the fans come on yet. We're going to go to data display. Still, let's go see if the fans have come on yet. Fans are still not on. And the temperature. About 213, 215, getting kind of hot. We'd like to see the fans on at this point. They're still not on. 
So the page is reading good. So we'll go to engine data one. Okay, the fans just came on. There they are. They're both running. Took them about took them about nine minutes to come on and watch the temperature. Look at the temperature dropping from the fans. Well, not so much. A little bit. Okay, they shut off already. So they're going to cycle on and off. So over here, we're going to look at... There's coolant temperature. Okay? Coolant temperature right here. Now that's reading in probably in Celsius, that's reading in Celsius. So be nice to be able to change that into, um, nice to be able to look at that in Fahrenheit. Just going through the data list here. Fans just came on again. So you guys, now you can see that I've got it idling now. It took about eight minutes for the thermostat to open, maybe seven minutes. But nine minutes for those fans to come on and they keep cycling on and off. The temperature it heated up really quick and and down near the thermostat with the fans on, it's running somewhere around 205, 210, depending on the spot. And that's where you want to see it after the fans kick off. I plugged in another scan tool because I wanted you to be able to show you the temperature in Fahrenheit. So hopefully you can see what the screen says here. And we'll go to live data there. And we'll click enter. And it says reading PIDs. PIDs are parameter identification. That's just the different values for the different sensors. So we're going to go to cooling system. So ETC is engine temperature coefficient. Or, uh, that's the sensor in Fahrenheit. It's reading 194. So that's what the computer sees that the temperature is, is 194 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're seeing the actual temperature on the outside of the engine with this infrared gun closer to... Sorry, one sec. Let me switch hands here. We're seeing it... Oh, I switched. This. There's, there's Fahrenheit. We're seeing it closer to, you know, 209, 213. It depends where I go on that cylinder head. But... This temperature sensor is over here. So when I go right there on the temperature sensor, it looks a lot colder. If I go against the block of the cylinder head, it's a lot colder down there compared to... Sorry for the glare. There you go. It's a lot colder down there on the cylinder head, on the back of the cylinder head, compared to where the coolant's coming out down here at the thermostat opening. So what that shows you is a lot of variation in temperature between where you check on the engine. And so it's kind of nice to look at the gauge on the dash, to look at the scan tool, what it's reading, and to look on the engine. And we go, okay, the temp gauge is right in the middle. Scan tool says it's at 194. Fans are cycling on and off. In reality, out on the engine physically, it's a little warmer than that, but how accurate is the infrared gun? Well, it's pretty accurate, but it also depends on the angle at which I shoot it at. So you could see the temperature bouncing around quite a bit. But the one thing that was really nice was, you now know how to tell which hose leads to the thermostat. It's the one that gets hot last. You now know that you can tell the moment that thing opens, 
because that, that hose gets hot. You can see the correlation between the gauge, the infrared gun, when the fans come on, and the scan tool. You also know, um, so I know my fans are working, I know my thermostat's opening, I know my gauge looks good, I've thoroughly checked this thing out, I have no leads, etc. Okay, that's it for now.